What is going on guys and welcome to Flight Simulator 2020. Now, this is a game that I am very new to. I haven't played a flight simulator in a really long time. So, please do forgive any sloppy flying or me not knowing any me not knowing some of the controls. Um I know some of them, not all of them, but I picked this game up the other day because I kind of, you know, was looking into it and I was like, "Oh my god, they really do say you can go anywhere." And so that got my brain going and I instantly went to Google Maps and started, you know, copying over coordinates. And one of the places I really wanted to fly over in this game was Tale of the Dragon slash the Fontana Dam slash Fontana Lake area in Tennessee and North Carolina, sort of right along that Tennessee, North Carolina line. And I really wanted to check it out and I wanted to take you guys along with me. So I'm going to be using a stunt plane in this video and the stunt plane just seems to apply very well to this idea. So I'm going to paste my coordinates in here and we're going to go to our custom uh, location, which is basically the coordinates that I have inputted are the coordinates for the Tale of the Dragon store on the North Carolina side just before you get to the North Carolina Tennessee state line. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in and we're going to fly around a little bit near the Tale of the Dragon store slash motorcycle resort and then we're going to fly down the river between Fugitive Dam and Fontana Dam. So we'll see how that goes and set as departure and fly. Hopefully we don't crash because in my practice attempt, I flew into the river. So bear that in mind as we jump into this because I have a feeling that it might get a little sketchy and I'm going to do my best to not let it get sketchy. I know I need a lot more flight practice and I'm sure there will be some people in the comment section that will let me know that I need more flight practice, but also be aware that I'm playing this on a controller and I haven't messed with the controller settings at all. And they seem to be very, very, very sensitive. So bear that in mind as well. But um, enough excuses, let's let this thing load and let's jump into it. Now, obviously, when you fly in an area like this, you're flying over some absolutely beautiful mountain terrain. And I've got to be honest, as somebody that's been to Tale of the Dragon and Fontana Dam loads of times in real life, it's really cool to fly over these areas in a virtual uh, in a virtual state. I mean, you can see that river right down there. That's that is literally the water between Fugitive well Fugitive Dam on this end and Fontana Dam on the other end. So let's go ahead and jump in, and we're gonna go ahead and first off change our camera angle to external, and I'm also going to back the engine off a little bit. Whoa! All right, let's get our bearings real quick. Let's see. There's the Tale of the Dragon store. Right back there. And this right behind me, that is Tale of the Dragon itself. We should also probably stop by the Dragon Overlook at some point. I'm going to throttle back up just a little. But down there, you can see the actual Dragon store. You can see the Motorcycle Resort, the Wheelie Hill, which, I mean, kind of ended up being called Wheelie Hill a long time ago. But I don't know how many people actually still call it that. Now... If you could see down here, I'm going to try and fly down to Fugitive Dam first. And it's really, really an interesting area. If you've never actually been here in real life, you absolutely should make the trip. Now, God, it's just so pretty, like flying over mountainous terrain in Flight Simulator. It's really, really, really cool. And the interesting thing about it is, now I have my graphic settings on high, not ultimate, because I wanted a little bit better performance. I haven't actually tried it on ultimate yet, because this is my... You know, a lot of my first time uh, playing around with the game. Ooh, there's some weird terrain going on right there. But you do get an idea of what the dam looks like. You've got a uh, sort of that little power station down there. It's not really actually a power station. It's more like just sort of an out... Uh, oh, God. All right, I'm going to turn around. It's mad at me. That's okay. Oh, God, I need throttle. Help! Ah! So that didn't go well. Let's restart it and actually go the other direction and visit Fontana Dam now. Remember how I told you guys that mistakes were potentially going to be made? They already were. All right, let's turn you around, my dude. I didn't have enough didn't have enough throttle in the engine. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Okay, there's the motorcycle resort down there on the left. Now we're going to fly towards Fontana Dam down the river and Dude, actually, that's really, really sick, seeing that neighborhood. 
Now, the road that would be on my left right now would be Highway 28 because we're in North Carolina at the moment. And let's just see. Okay, the weird thing about it is I don't know if it's, the, it's because of the fact that I have it on high and not ultimate because sometimes the road looks like it legitimately is like nine, like 75 to 90 degrees like on the side of the mountain. But let's do some low flying down along the river, which the game is probably not going to be happy with me for, but whoa, okay. I love attempting this low flying stuff, but it can really put a damper on your adventure real fast. Take a little bit of speed out of the engine, a little bit. Let's see if we can fly a little lower. Ooh, that's a little sketchy. Keep in mind, I am still learning here, so I'm trying to find the right balance between the, like, between throttle and sort of, I don't even know what you would call it, the amount that you lift the nose. Now, let's see. Up here on the right, there's another sort of little, uh, sort of little station, whereas, see where there's a sort of a square cutout right there? In real life, there's actually a whole bunch of, like, a whole bunch of large metal structures and poles there. Um, with power lines running to them, and there's also giant tubes uh, with water coming down from the top of the mountain. Now, as we get closer and closer to Fontana Dam, I'm really curious to see if they've rendered in the bridge that would go up the hill towards Fontana Village. And, oh god, we crashing? Overstressed the aircraft? Bro, I... Okay. All right, well, maybe now is not the time to do just low flying. Let's try flying a little bit higher. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. I'm turning you around. Whoa. This is a bit blustery up here, James. James May, as it were. All right, so I'm going to stay above the river this time and continue to attempt to fly towards Fontana Dam. But let me up the engine speed just a touch. Seem to be doing fairly okay. And since this is a stunt plane, it does move around a lot. But it is easy to barrel roll. Yeet. Oh, God. Whoa. Whoa. It do okay. If you keep, you know, if you keep pressure towards one side, it will kind of get it out of control on you. Tiny little bit of rudder. Wow, that was sensitive. I just barely touched the trigger on that one. Barely. Very, very slightly touched it. But yeah, instead of flying down through the, um, through this sort of valley here, I'm going to fly over the mountains. And I just can't tell you guys, like, how freaking beautiful it is to fly over areas like this. And the fact that it's all, like, it's all being live streamed to the game is nuts. Now let's see. Yo, see that road that winds up through the mountains right there? I have legitimately been on that road. It's it's actually sort of hidden up up between Fontana Village and Topoco Lodge on the other end towards the other dam. Oh my god, we're about to get to Fontana Dam actually. You can sort of see Fontana Village up there on the right. Holy crap, this is nuts! I need to figure out how to do a live pause, which is basically, they freeze the plane, but not the world. Let's back off the engine speed just a little bit to like 2,000 RPM. And we'll let it sort of come off of its, ooh. That is so cool. There's the Fontana Lodge. You can see the village with all the cabins make a little bit of a detour to the left now and fly down towards the dam and the lake. You can even see the pool! That's nuts! That is insane. There's the dam. Wow. Oh my god. That is, that is beautiful. That is insane! If you've been to any of these areas in real life, you know how crazy it is to be able to sort of like fly through them Although I will say, there's some odd terrain deformation going on. I don't know if that's supposed to do that, but we're going to ignore that for now and just say, like, you know, yep, that's Fontana Dam. That's the parking lot and the visitor center up at the top of the dam. Those two cars just had a moderate collision, but that's all right. 
And then here we have Fontana Lake, which is even crazier. We'll make a little bit of a lap around the lake. There are so many lakes that I want to actually like fly over in this game because you can fly over real landmarks. And it's crazy because everybody wants to fly over like, you know, crazy landmarks that they've never been to. I find myself wanting to fly over landmarks that I have been to, but I just want to see what they look like in the game. Let's make another pass, turn around, go back, and fly over Tale of the Dragon now. Oh my god, that's so pretty. And we'll follow the river back, and we'll follow the river back sort of where it runs along Highway 28, and then from there, we'll sort of branch off to the dragon and try to fly over the dragon overlook. Seeing Fontana Dam from this angle, like, honestly, it makes me want to fly over it in real life. It's so cool. So freaking cool. Let's throttle up a little bit now. Try and get back there semi-quickly. Yo, they even rendered out the little uh, parking area back here towards the end of the dam. Holy smokes, dude! That's insane! There's a little parking area back there. The Appalachian Trail runs through here. This is absolutely freaking wild. There's the bridge! Yo, there's the bridge. There's the boat dock, or sort of like the boat launch. Dude, we've taken so many pictures of our cars down there. That is insanely cool. Flying along the river right next to Highway 28 now. Gonna try and fly through here properly this time and not end up in the river. Wow, I'm just... I know I just keep gushing about how cool this is, but it really is that cool. It really, truly, genuinely is that cool. Blaine didn't like that. Beeped at me, but that's all right. At this point, Highway 28 sort of gets... You can see some of the traffic down there. It gets a little bit... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I may have... Oh, I guess I overstressed the aircraft again. Well, we flew around the Tail of the Dragon store a little bit and then flew back down Highway 28 and then flew over Fontana Dam. I think the fact that, like, I think the fact that all that stuff is here is cool enough as it is, but the, the, like, the fact that you could fly over it, even freaking cooler. So, with all of that being said, I know we didn't actually fly over, like, Tale of the Dragon proper, but we did fly around the Tale of the Dragon store and sort of flew around uh, Fugitive Dam and then flew down the river towards Fontana Dam, saw the bridge, saw Fontana Village, Really, really cool. And I know that those areas might not seem super significant to you if you've never been there, but if you've been there, oh my god, it's the coolest thing. Now, if y'all enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Uh, tell me how terrible I am at flying down in the comments below as well. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.